Zambia has been grappling with high unemployment levels for many years now. The youth have been the most affected with a high number of them failing to find employment opportunities that would enable them to live decent lives. The lack of decent work opportunities has forced a number of people, especially the youths, to venture into business and entrepreneurship through setting up various business entities. Though this is a welcome move for employment creation and alleviation of poverty, it has proved to be a daunting undertaking for the many who have tried their hand at business due to a number of factors that have continued to make it hard to succeed in entrepreneurship in Zambia. We've seen a steady progress uh, in relation to entrepreneurship in, in Zambia. And um, I think if you look maybe back in the 20, maybe 2000 and, and so, uh, there was very little talk about uh, you know entrepreneurship, and um, especially by the locals. I think we had uh, a lot of you know foreign nationals that had come in to start businesses and the like. And um, I think the the other issue that probably affected it was that I think then back then I think we had a lot of parastatals and most people didn't really see the need for one to get into business, and so. It, it wasn't the culture of entrepreneurship wasn't there, but uh, I think right now we've uh, we've seen an increase in that in that area uh, as a lot of even the government itself. I think there's been a lot of talk uh, in uh, you know young people and basically the citizenry to get into entrepreneurship, and um, of course, uh, like I'm saying, generally that's that's a good uh, it's a good move, and of course. Uh, if we look at the business environment, probably that's another issue to talk about. But generally, the spirit of entrepreneurship has, uh, has, 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 has grown steadily over the years. There is a lot of uh, opportunity, more especially for women to do business in Zambia. So what is needed actually is uh, to enable the women to access those opportunities because there are some challenges which they are facing them to do business. The lack of employment. Uh, yeah. All three of us were students at some point that uh, we graduated from NIPA. So we thought after graduation employment was going to be easy. You know, you have uh, all sorts of promises while you're still in college. But afterwards it was a different story. We tried to seek for employment in various organizations but um, all hope was almost lost, that's how we decided to come up with this initiative and thought maybe we could sustain ourselves. And in the long run, it got big and uh, we empowered other youths as well. So basically, one organization of about 12 uh, youths and still counting. Just like I said earlier, where I was saying the, I mean, the, the culture of entrepreneurship hasn't been there uh, over the years. And so uh, people are slowly coming to realize the importance of getting into business and uh, I should make mention that we still have a situation where most people are taking entrepreneurship as a second option so you find a situation where someone has a job uh, but probably they start a business they don't put in their, 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 their whole in the in the whole in the whole business setup because they still have another income coming in which is not bad but it's somehow somewhere they the concentration is not much so this business whether it fails or it's it succeeds it, it doesn't really matter to them and besides that also the skills and knowledge of managing businesses uh, it's also a, a, a hindrance to the progress of most of these businesses there are various reasons for the many challenges aspiring entrepreneurs have been facing for many years chief among them a lack of access to financial capital to start or expand their businesses Other reasons cited include lack of experience and mentorship programs from established businessmen and women and a general lack of financial knowledge which ultimately leads to financial indiscipline as well as lack of proper knowledge of the principles of successfully running a business entity. As for, for women, we know that it's, uh, it's not uh, really easy to, to do business, more especially when you talk of the, 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 the SMEs. You know, the SMEs, in most cases, it's them. They are everything. They are the bosses, they are the manager, they are the secretaries, they are the buyers. And at home, you are expected to do other things. 
For this dream to be a reality, it is important that the youths are encouraged to venture into agriculture business by way of easy financial provision, business skills training facilitation by government, and freeing up of land for those youths who are interested to go into agribusiness ventures.